can't believe you basically gave him my gun. Here you go, Frank. Sorry. You can't keep getting mad at me. Especially for stupid shit. I'm not mad. It adds up in my mind as people letting me down. And I just liked having that gun, man. Now you have me to protect you. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? Good question. It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? Uh, Frank? Seriously, Chloe, this is scary. What if Frank tries to track us down? I'm sorry, but Frank isn't as hardcore as he runs. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, are you for reals? Frank just took your gun and threatened us. He's armed and clearly dangerous. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers. Obviously don't get my pot from you, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Hung out? What does that mean? Hung out. You don't mean you... Oh, no, we didn't have sex. <laughs> Gross, man. He never even tried. I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? Uh, be careful. I think we have to be careful and keep an eye on this guy. Without him eyeballing us, okay? Uh, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Um, Rachel and I? Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had, has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the bead poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have that to stop sound being afraid. Makes it sound like it's coming from outside of my headphones, but it's not. It's like the wind or something. Perfect. Uh oh. Not again. Damn it, Max. What do I do? 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 <laughs> oh, oh, I go up here obviously somehow. I gotta change the direction of the tracks. Open! Shit, I can't budget at Shit. all! Oh my god, there's a hair on my lip. Um, <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? Hey, bitch! Hi. Be patient. <laughs> I can definitely use this bad boy. I can go back as many times as I want, so Wait, don't you worry. Oh, shit. Crowbar. Uh, score! I'm helping you, just hang on. What am I looking in here for? What is this? Take? What do I need those for? Now I can pull a total MacGyver. <laughs> She's just screaming, I'm just like, what ifs? I'll be out in a minute, bitch. I don't like that music. 
Okay, 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 okay. No, 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 no! Oh, 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 hang on. Whoa, what am I doing? Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Sorry. Oh my gosh. She she totally just almost got hit. She's gonna die. Here it comes. I wanna see her get hit, kind of. No, I don't. Never mind. I don't wanna see that. That's too stressful. Open. The red one. I need to go back away farther. Okay. That should give us a little extra time. But which wire to cut? Now that's the right cable. It's always the red wire. Pull it. Yes! I did it! You okay? I you saved your life again. again! Yeah. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Damn. That was close. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? Not really. It was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Aww. This episode is really intense so far. And the decisions are not easy. <laughs> Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. Obviously. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Snow equals the ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours, and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? What do you know? What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswipe. Some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything in Blackwell? <laughs> we have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. BFFs. <laughs> Bye. You're welcome. Alright, I guess we're going to art class now. time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. Alright. Sounds cool. So are you going to that Vortex Club party? Like I would miss it. I have the sweetest outfit. Justin always looks stoned. He is always stoned. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be at an end-of-the-world party with Nathan Prescott. Oh, hell no. Too much truth in advertising. Zachary, you fucking asshole. <laughs> Hello, Zach. What's up, Max? It's weird to not see you without your camera. I'm always taking pictures with my eyes. I bet. As long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sext in Victoria. 
It's over, I won't. Isn't that basically the same thing? I won't. That's what Victoria wanted. Yeah. I noticed she kind of set up her own drama. Even if it fucks her over. Weird. She doesn't have to, though. That's what I don't get at all. When she's hot, rich, talented. What more does she need? Anyway, see you at the game Friday, Max. Look at these trophies. Gotta give it up for those Bigfoots. You can really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the boards. Okay, uh, who else can we talk to? What's this? These elite assholes throw a lot of big parties. <laughs> Another chance Samuel. for Nathan Prescott to dose somebody. Seriously. Hello, climate change. Can't talk to him right now. <laughs> um, I like looking at everything. Does anybody believe this shit? Stop being a loser. This is where shit gets real. Don't miss it. This Thursday, October 10th. What is this? If I was normal, I'd be super excited about going to a major shindig. What are you doing? Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. Um... I don't. <laughs> You're right. I don't. Making my guest list easier. Ciao. Maybe I should. Forget it, Max. No soiree for you. Maybe I should just get on the list. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. Really? Oh, like you. I'm not anti soiree. You seem anti fashion, though. Oh, Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. Hey, Courtney. Ciao. Really? Oh, like you. It might be good to go. I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell you what. I'll put you down on the guest list, and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. Cool, thanks. I'll babe. send you the party info later. Back to the list. You're still a bitch. <laughs> um. All right. Okay. Let's talk to the principal. Ooh, I don't want to talk to that guy. You're a dick. Fucking asshole. Oh, what's what's this? What's this? Carrying a gun to class is cool, though. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, what's up, sir? Asshole. Uh, hello, Max. Everyone at this school like is an asshole. Would you tell me what you wouldn't yesterday? No. No. No, I mean, I don't have anything to tell you. More secrets. Now, excuse me. I have a meeting to attend. Okay, bye. Can I speak Max. to him again? I have a meeting. Okay. Excuse me. All right. I I I gun free zone. Good thing I left my AK at home. Whatever. Should I speak to him? Oh, I don't know if I want to. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen. Do you mind if we talk about what happened yesterday with Chloe? You hit Chloe. I don't think so. You hit Chloe. I'm sure she told you why. Did she mention she probably stole one of my guns? You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. You treat Kate bad. What about Kate? What about Kate? <laughs> You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. 
My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. Well, damn. I really don't like you. Warren. Sit down, science. I can't read that last word. Uh, I'm in the sci-fi sci lab now. No, I'm no Schrodinger's kitty. Okay. <laughs> I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. I saw Victoria and her friends shopping for the party. That reminds me, I have to score some weed from Nathan. So now you're moving on to Logan. <gasps> oh my god. Logan! Logan's the guy that knocked up Dana. And now Juliet is with him. I really hope this jackass will use protection <laughs> next time. <laughs> Juliet is laying the smack down on Zachary. Oh my god. It's cray cray. Um... Yo, Maxwell Smart. Talk later, cool? So you okay. can't help me? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Oh my god. Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. Okay. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. Yeah. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. Damn it. And Max, I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. <sighs> Have you talked to her? Yes. Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. Rachel was nothing like Kate. And Principal Wells said you had something on your mind you wouldn't tell him. No. You care to share? No. No. <laughs> not right now. I'll tell you everything as soon as I figure it out. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Um, uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Okay. He's not saying anything. There's Warren. Hey, Warren. With your black eye. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Well, I think I can use my powers to decide. Let's start with sodium. I have a vision. go -dium. go -dium? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. 
Oh god. I better stand back. <laughs> Damn. Zip. Nothing. Okay, we'll go back. It's, it's not a big deal. Big brain? Hey, Warren. Maxwell Silver? Asking me for- Have that either- Potassium. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but... Go... Potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. He'd hug us anyways. He loves her. Weird science. Was that the good... Was that good or bad? Yes, I am a scientist. Okay. Fuck. Was that... I'm assuming that's a good the green thing. Brain. Or maybe not. He just said this can't be that hard. What if I go back again? Hey, Warren. Ha Ask. Have that. Lots of potassium. I actually <laughs> think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. A shitload. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. Whoa! <laughs> she blinded me with science. Yes! That was a blast! <laughs> but, let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Yes, that's cool. Yes! Okay. That was a blast! But, let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Hey, Miss... whatever the fuck your name was, Miss Grant. Can we speak to her? Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. Oh, were Thanks you? Thanks again for taking a stand against camera surveillance here. Every signature counts. Experiment? What does that mean? How is your campaign going? You signed the petition, now it's your campaign too. Thanks for stepping up. More people would rather send a text than sign a petition. That's how they keep us all distracted. Nobody will notice cameras on every square foot. I know. I really hope you keep those cameras from taking over Blackwell. Max, with students like you, we sure will. I'm just thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh, this is my favorite time of year. I do love the season change. This whole campus is a visual delight. I know Mr. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. You must know Mr. Jefferson pretty well by now. I certainly know him as a talented artist and terrific teacher. I must be late for class I've been by here now. <laughs> longer, but he's made a bigger mark. I have to say, it's not quite autumn enough yet. Snow? What about that snow yesterday? What's your scientific explanation? Our climate is moving beyond explanation. Of course, some of the tribes here might see it different. Miss Grant, can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? You know my stock teacher answer. There are no dumb questions. Ask away. Would you add potassium or sodium to a chemical oh, mix we for this week's that. experiment? Neither. Unless you want a face full of powder. I would add chlorine. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. So, I should tell him to add chlorine? Yes! That was a blast! But, let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Let's go back. Okay. Hey, Warren. <laughs> Asking. Have that. Add chlorine. Wrong, Warren. You need to add chlorine, not potassium or sodium. Chlorine? <laughs> I didn't think of that. Can't argue with a confident scientist. Let's try it. Pink. Eureka! She's got it. No, you got it. Don't oh, no. be so modest, Dr. Caulfield. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
that was fun helping Warren. He's pretty cute when he's in full-on geek Check out the big brain on Max. You might right. be the next Heisenberg of Blackwell. Heisenberg. <laughs> um, hi, Miss. All right, so I'm just Funny. gonna I'll get through this Thanks conversation. Okay, so Da Vinci was a boss. Let's talk to Brooke. She's kind of a bitch, but... I bet if I touch the glass, all these creepy sea critters will pop up. Do it. Or nothing will happen at all. <laughs> nothing... Really? Why? What's the point of doing that? What was the point of that? Okay, that was weird. Hey, Brooke. Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? Yeah. Warren. I'm helping Warren with his latest experiment. Oh, I guess he needed a neophyte assistant so he wouldn't be threatened. But you came to his rescue anyway. Apparently, it's my nature. Yet, Warren ignores the experts right in front of him. Not that he would ask me for help, anyway. Okay. 